Welcome to CES 2016. Uh, this morning, we've been driving Chevrolet's new affordable 200 mile electric vehicle, which they call the Bolt. And we've been driving it around the, this little test track that GM have laid out here in Las Vegas. Uh, and I have to say, it's a actually really quite fun little car. The ones we've been driving around this morning are um, pre-production prototypes, uh, and the reveal isn't actually until tomorrow. The Bolt EV is an all-new car. It's its own architecture. The battery's integrated into the floor and into the lower... Uh, so I guess uh, it's, a lower it's a skateboard chassis. Like. Yeah, exactly, into the lower structure of the car, which um, has a lot of benefits to it. You know, number one, just it allows us to really have a very spacious interior, which is exceptional. On top of that, it helps lower the center of gravity, which contributes to this fun to drive aspect, which you know, was, I think, one of the most unexpected pieces of feedback we got when we launched the original Volt. What sort of price is it going to be? Yeah, so under $30,000 net federal tax cool. credit. Okay. So it really takes EVs to the mainstream. Mm -hmm. Connectivity is a huge part of the Bolt EV story. In reality, there are five ways that we connect, all seamless, all seamless to the user, but the notion is you can be anywhere and connect with your car. The infotainment system is um, configurable. Mm -hmm. It's widget-based, so you can make your home screen your own. How about we go take a look? Definitely. Some of the things that I'm um, proudest of with this car is just the spaciousness. You know, look how even here with this um, D-ring, you know, we have this uh, step height here to <laughs> try to maximize the room that you have to get in and out of the vehicle. This infotainment system is uh, unique to the Bolt EV. You can see it has a very large 10.2 inch uh, screen, a customizable uh, home screen. And so, you know, we have some preset ones or you can, you know, it's widget based. Mm -hmm. So you can choose your own uh, widgets for the layout. Then all things EV are accessible right here. Mm -hmm. So whether you want to configure your charging, set up the rate that the charge based on the rate schedule, etc power flow, as you would expect, info on how did you do. The other thing we know is people want physical you know, knobs present at all times for the things they use the most. Yeah, uh, muscle memory is really important. Yeah. And if you don't know where a button is, you, that's not great for distracted driving. So that's why you see um, you know, the volume button and the on off for the radio. That's why you see the temperature uh, button for the HVAC the, and you see the um, on off auto, the heated seats, all the things that people tell us they use the most, they wanted a button. Tell me about the sport button. It basically is a, um, a throttle progression mm -hmm. uh, adjustment. In the Bolt, you can actually get very easily to one pedal driving. Right. And even better is if you put the car into low, now you'll have true one pedal driving. You know, if you're that stop and go uh, person or you're in stop and go traffic all the time, it really makes it a lot more pleasant. Um, so what sort of performance and, and power levels um, does the car have? So I know it's a 200 mile range. Yeah, so it's going to be 200 plus. Um, it's under 7 seconds, 0 to 60. Instantly in L, you can feel that there's um, much more resistance, that you know it's not, it's not kind of freewheeling nearly as much. Well, it's, it's literally braking. Right. Sorry, I'm trying not to throw it around too quickly. It's, taking quite, it's quite fun to drive. Yeah, and I mean, it's a pretty tight turn, and it easily has this uh, radius. And is the motor at the front or the back? The front. But it's got almost a uh, perfect 50-50 weight balance. You know, it's evolving. You hear everybody talking about the disrupted industry. So there's the cars, but you know, maybe you're really selling mobility. And so with mobility comes the service. We are targeting EVs for the mainstream. The car's going to go into production before the end of this year which means I guess we can expect it on sale in 2017. And they say that the price after rebates will be under $30,000. For an electric car with a 200 mile range, that makes it half as expensive as the cheapest Tesla you can buy. Uh, which means I think Elon finally has some competition.